Hello party people and welcome to Dabble in Dishes, where today we're making super easy 12 minute fish tacos. These tacos are great for impressing people and they require very little cooking experience to pull off. For these tacos you'll need a fillet of smoked salmon. Part of what makes this recipe both fast and easy is that the meat is already cooked and has a rich smoky flavor to it. You will also need a lime, a clove of garlic, a jalapeno which we are going to use both in the guacamole and as garnish, some fresh corn tortillas, I'm using smaller ones for this recipe but you can totally use larger ones if you want, a ripe avocado and a ripe mango. You want to go for one that has developed some red color and is somewhat soft when squeezing it, much like you would when buying an avocado. In addition to this, we are also going to season the salmon with about one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of paprika, a little more than half a teaspoon of chipotle chili, one teaspoon of cumin, and finally, a little less than a teaspoon of black pepper. You might also want some salt, and in this case, I'm going to be using some flaky sea salt. We're going to start preparing the salmon. And you first want to mix the spices evenly before adding them to the fish. I'm going to peel the skin of the fish using a knife to help, although it is worth noting that the fish is tender enough to not need a knife. Pour the spice mix into the bowl along with the fish and start mixing it together using a fork. Make sure to blend it well so you don't end up with large concentrations of spice when taking a bite. Cutting a mango can be a little bit tricky, but once you know how to do it, there shouldn't be any problems. Look for the narrow part of the mango and cut about one third of the way into the center. The mango has a very large flat oval seed which you will want to cut around. Use the knife to cut horizontal and vertical strips into the two halves of the mango, creating a sort of mesh pattern. And sort of turn it inside out, so the mango looks like this. Strip off the mango pieces and put them away for now. Next up is guacamole. Start off by cutting the avocado in half and pray to the avocado gods that it looks nice inside. Get the core out by giving it a quick chop with your knife blade and twist it out of the fruit. Then make some small cuts into the avocado much like the mango. You don't have to do this but I find that it makes for a great texture when mixing this later. Then you want to add some garlic. Just take a knife and punch the garlic clove to loosen the skin and press it directly into the guacamole mix. Before cutting the lime, you want to roll it on the table while applying some pressure to it. This will make it easier to squeeze the juice out of it later when you have cut it. Season with some salt and pepper. Then you want to slice up the jalapeno and take some of the slices, chop them up and put into the guac mix. Start to mix the guac until you get the desired texture. I'm going for something which has chunks but also some smoothness to it. Guacamole comes in so many variants and there is a million ways of doing it. If you have a favorite recipe for guacamole, please write a comment down below and share it with the rest of us. Alright, it's almost time for assembly, but before that I want to warm up the corn tortillas. I do this by throwing them in a hot pan for a few seconds on each side, but you can totally do this in a microwave as well if you want it. I'm going to start by spreading some guacamole on the bottom and then add a generous scoop of salmon. Put some of the mango on top. This is what adds the sweetness to this dish. Add some jalapeno slices and I also decided to add a little cream friche, a final squeeze of lime and also some pickled red onions which I had left from a previous recipe a few weeks back. If you want that recipe you can follow the link on the screen or in the description. These tacos are great to serve on any hot summer day. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more in the future please consider subscribing, maybe like and share this with all taco lovers out there. And if you have any special requests you might want to see for the next video leave a comment down below and tell me what it is.